This plant here is really strange, something I haven't seen before. I know what type of family it is, it's from a Loesacea family. It's called the stinging or electric shock plant. And these pumpkin-like flowers, absolutely amazing colours. But you'll also see the end of the flowers and <laughs> the leaves here have a lethal hair on them. And once you come in contact with it and brush it, it sticks into your skin, releasing a type of acid that gives you... A a little shock going into your body, small bit of voltage and a lot of pain and in contact with cold water the pain can reoccur for up to two to three weeks. In some species up to three quarters of a year in pain can be observed in contact with moisture, sweating on the body, rain, having a shower, bath and so on. It's a climbing plant as you can see straggling around this um, interesting shrub here. I've got some seed to collect as well. Very unusual, you don't often see them. And you want to collect seeds from this plant? I want to collect seeds from it. There's some good ripe seeds over here. The seed on this end here, I'm going to get a plastic bag. It can't penetrate plastic. It can go through most things. It's not good at plastic, he says. The bag at least two or three times. This is, this is field research in action. Absolutely. Just turn it around. There, if I just show you. And they're, they're spiralingly green. They'll do. Cut them off and put them into the bag in a minute. There's some brown ones here. You see it's got a coiling system. I'm gonna want to show you close up. Being Even the old fruits can still sting. It's got a coiling system it's got, and that's a spring. So when that ripens, it unfurls itself, like a pea family, at quite a reasonable speed. You can often hear them on a hot day go And the seed gets dispersed quite a long distance from the the parent plant, that's the whole idea, to get as far away from its parent as possible. Never seen this before, Paul. I've never seen a climbing, um, stinging plant before, but I recognise it instantly from the books I've read about it whilst growing up. It's a very kids thing, interactive for Lunningston. Kids will love this, behind a nice plastic box with air holes cut through it, but really interactive for the well, one of the structures at home. Great stuff.